Well, folks, today we have an update on a rumor for Nintendo Switch 2 we reported on a few months back coming from Nick from Xbox era. Remember, he was the one who also told us that he knew someone who potentially saw Metroid Prime 4 and that it might be more open or at least the game world is pretty massive comparable to Halo Infinite when you first walk out, which is an open world game. So that was really, really exciting. But he also told us an old rumor about that the Nintendo Switch 2, that essentially the Switch 2 uh, has something going on with it, or he heard something's going on with it that's similar to something PlayStation and Sony has done in the past. And since then, we took a lot of guesses back at what it would be, but we never really heard uh, what was going to happen. And now, well, on the latest episode of the Xbox Era podcast, he finally unveiled what he had heard about Nintendo Switch 2 and what that PlayStation-like feature is. And let's just say... I don't know that you're going to be super excited by this one, or maybe you will be excited by this one. Kind of depends on how you want to spin it. And of course, as with all rumors, pretty easy to spin it in multiple directions. That being said, I want to thank you guys so much for being here. And if you're enjoying the video and enjoying our content, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. We're on a road to 150,000 subscribers. And yes, you can smash that bell icon and be notified of all future uploads. So what are we talking about? Well, <laughs> you know what? Instead of me sitting here and, and beating around the bush, let me just have Nick himself tell you with this clip from the podcast. I didn't want to go all the way with it, but I said I had heard some stuff about the Switch 2 that I wasn't 100% on, and the only clue I gave was that it was PlayStation-like. What Nintendo was planning was PlayStation-like with the Switch 2. And then when so I saw Switch these recent... be ugly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so then when I, uh, I saw the rumors popping up again of the digital Switch 2, I said to my guy, I'm like, come on, can I just say this now? They're like, okay. So what I have, what I had heard about the Switch 2 that was PlayStation-like, and it links up with the digital and physical Switch, was that the plan, again, I don't know if Nintendo is still going ahead with this. This is the thing. Even my guy's not sure if Nintendo is still going ahead with this. But the plan was to have a backwards compatible version and a non-backwards compatible version of the Switch 2. So, like, how, you know how PlayStation had BC versions of the PS3 and they had non-BC versions of the PS3? Mm -hmm. I had heard that the plan was that Nintendo were looking at the same thing, a BC and a non-BC. So, I'm like, oh, so, so one, one like more expensive than the other? Like... Yes. Yes. Uh, so, if you want the BC, you pay up. So, my assumption is that the Again, assumption, assumption. I don't, I don't know, and neither does the person who gave me this info. My assumption is that the BC more expensive version would also be the one that still supports physical cards. Yeah, quite interesting, isn't it? We're talking about the fact that there might be a Nintendo Switch 2 that is backwards compatible and one that isn't. And what I wish you would have addressed is if it just meant not physically backwards compatible, because we already have some rumors and some weird things floating out there about a, a digital version of Switch 2 and a cartridge version of Switch 2. But if the digital version is still digitally backwards compatible, then it's still backwards compatible, just not with physical cartridges. But he doesn't really address that. And what he obviously gets into is just what he heard. And he's not necessarily sure that Nintendo is going to go in this route. Now, when we look a bit deeper, he does go into his own speculation, of course, and there's nothing wrong with going into speculation. Again, he's the one who heard this information from his source, and he, he makes this assumption that it would be like the physical digital version, that the more expensive version would be the one with supporting physical carts, and that one would have full backwards compatibility, and the digital version doesn't have it at all, but is cheaper. Now, again, this is just obviously a guess, speculation, a shot in the dark. It doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going to happen, and again, he heard this earlier this year, and just because Nintendo might have been planning that at the time, cha you know, changes can happen from plans to when you're actually going into the mass production of products. Although, I will note, this could explain some of the confusion from the dev kits. If you guys remember, back when we were hearing all this stuff about dev kits going out there in the middle of July, 
One of the controversial things to come up was backwards compatibility and that some of the sources out there were saying things like, yes, it does have backwards compatibility. But then other developers were telling the same people. So let's just, for an example, go with Video Game Chronicle. They'd be telling Video Game Chronicle, actually, it doesn't have backwards compatibility. What is up with that? And this sort of goes into support that maybe there's even multiple dev kits out there, some with backwards compatibility, some without backwards compatibility. And because of that, there's all this confusion. So remember when I said you could spin this in a, a positive or a negative? Well, the positive is that assuming there's any truth to these rumors, the reports from the past from dev, dev kits, and obviously this rumor from Nick from Xbox era, then what we can take from this is that yes, there will be a Switch 2 with backwards compatibility, which is obviously really exciting. That's what we want to hear. It was an unknown thing. It's been hotly debated in the Nintendo community for a long time. But hey, there it is. Backwards compatible Nintendo Switch 2. That's a positive. But you want to spin it into a negative. Well, potentially there's going to be an all digital system, which pushes physical games more out the door. And oh, by the way, that one won't have backwards compatibility. And that is obviously not what you want to hear and nintendo is now upcharging to have a physical cartridge slot and backwards compatibility which people might not be okay with and that's a way to spin this into the negative as i said you can go either way with this so what do i think about it well in the end we clearly don't have any control over what nintendo is going to do the fact that there's going to be a version with backwards compatibility yeah that's probably going to be the version i'm buying because hey, I want my games to be forwards compatible, not just physically, but also digitally. And if there's only one system that guarantees I have full BC, then that's the system I'm going to get. But if you're wondering how this relates to PlayStation, you know, he, he brings up, you know, the whole PlayStation 3 comparison, how they had PlayStation 3s that had backwards compatibility and ones that didn't. Well, all of them at launch had backwards compatibility. It was later when they released revisions, they got rid of the PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility. This would be something that uh, I think is being suggested Nintendo would be doing at launch, which I find to be a very interesting and potentially controversial decision to not just have full backwards compatibility across the board, especially if you're going with an all digital, you could still say it has digital backwards compatibility, right? You just can't, obviously it's all digital. That would be less controversial. I mean, it's already controversial to have an all digital one, but then the other platforms have all digital systems. So then maybe it's not as controversial as it might've been years ago, I don't know. This is a whole sort of mess out there, and I really want to get your guys' thoughts. Clearly, I would rather have backwards compatibility than not, even though I don't necessarily always play my old games all the time. There are games I'm still playing through and will probably still be playing on Switch at the time Switch 2 comes out. It would be nice if I could just play them on the new system. Plus, what if there's some perks like higher performance, better frame rates, obviously better resolution. What if there's performance patches and upgrades and DLSS upscaling? So there could be a lot of reasons that I'd actually maybe want to revisit something like Tears of the Kingdom, but revisit it on the new system, even without a new version of that game coming out. Again, this is all just wildly rumored territory and unverifiable. And even Nick himself is like, man, this is like such old information at this point. Even his source isn't really sure if Nintendo moved forward with this, just that it was a plan at one point. So we'll have to find out. Uh, the rest of that podcast and that little speculation, if you're wondering, and you should absolutely go listen to the Xbox Era podcast. It's really good. And their rumor section often does, once in a while, dive into PlayStation and Nintendo. What I find really, really interesting is that they do dive into this idea that Nintendo uh, Switch 2 could be coming out sooner than people might expect. Like, they don't think it's releasing next holiday, like holiday 2024. It's going to be sooner than that. They even speculate on an October reveal for a March release, which to me is crazy. But again, just pure speculation, not based on any sources. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I know backwards compatibility is this, that, 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 that topic with the system that just won't seem to go away until Nintendo finally announces the damn thing and confirms it one way or another. Thank you guys for being here, and I'll catch you in the next video.